So this interesting concept that I want to talk about is regarding focus and it's also regarding distraction. But what's interesting is that it's not the way that a lot of us think it is. In fact, it wasn't until I heard about this that I was actually living the other way around. And the way it works is this. Thank you, geese, for the beautiful <laughs> singing in the background. You could probably hear them, even though I have my shotgun mic on. Look at this. <laughs> There's a, literally a whole congregation of geese right behind me. It's beautiful, though. I'm one with them. I love them. So, with that said, here we go. The opposite of distracted is not focused. The opposite of distracted, something, something just fell from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me being distracted. The opposite of distracted is attracted. And this really blew my mind when I heard it because it made me realize that growing up for me, something that a lot of you don't know, which I'm about to expose, is that I actually took Ritalin in middle school and high school. And it was a drug that um, I was prescribed because apparently I couldn't focus. And I was very, <laughs> to be honest with you, not interested in a lot of the stuff that we were learning in you know, grade school and everything. And it's interesting because I think a lot of other people also weren't very interested in all that stuff. But personally for me, um, I ended up taking this medication that honestly, it did help me focus, but on stuff that I still was not interested in. So. Basically what I'm trying to get at here is that we shouldn't be pushing ourselves to focus on something that we are not interested in. We should instead realize that we are distracted because it's not because we can't be focused, it's because we are not attracted to something that you know we're apparently supposed to be learning. And also on top of that, there are at least four different learning styles that from what I understand, not any part of the education system caters to. And with that said, I'm pretty sure like the main thing is reading. That's what like, you know, reading and writing is what the education system caters to. But if there is something that you absolutely have to learn and for some reason you're just not interested in it, the sun is blaring in my eyes right now. <laughs> my face is probably blown out. But um, if there's something that you absolutely have to learn, and there's just like no way around it, what you can do is figure out your type of learning style. There are so many different types of learning style. I'm a visual learner. I learn by visuals. I also learn by movement, which is interesting because I'm taking American Sign Language this semester, so it's like, it's really easy to learn the language, honestly. But um, use that to your power because I've had a number of teachers try to disprove different learning styles as not valid and it's just not the case because different learning styles we we all learn things differently and if we could implement that factor into our learning experience we could learn things more easily and have it stick with us more easily but just to recap the opposite of distracted I'm gonna put my hand up here <laughs> the opposite of distracted is not focused, it's attracted. Don't buy into this myth, because I was led to believe for many years earlier on that I just had the, I had the inability to remain focused, when in all reality, I just wasn't attracted to the stuff that I was learning. And I'm sure that a number of the other people that I was going to school with were also just not attracted. And not only that, but we'll never use any of the stuff we learned in our life. <laughs> Sounds like every time I talk about the education system, I'm just completely against it, which I'm not. I just think that it's backwards. It's, um, it's ancient, you know, the horse and buggy and everything. And I think that it could be made a lot better. So we're gonna see a lot of changes in the coming years, I can tell you that. Definitely within the you know next five to 10 years. But yeah, don't be led to believe that you have an inability to focus simply because you're not interested or attracted to something. Figure out how you can be attracted to it if you absolutely need to be through you know, the learning style that you're most connected with and just go from there. And 
uh, go out into nature more. <laughs> nature is beautiful. It really heals us on a very deep and profound level. It grounds us. It brings us back to who we are because uh, we came from nature. You know, that's just, just the way it is. So uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let's start a you know discussion and have a fun time with this. Thanks for tuning in.